What's up, everybody? I'm George from Toy Break. I'm here with Mandy. And we are going to show you uh, how to build a, how to convert a paint pot into a pressure pot for all of your molding and casting needs. We get asked this a lot on the forum, um, and Mandy just happens to need to do this right now. So we figured uh, let's show it off to you guys. First, get yourself a paint pot, which is this thing right here. Um, this is a two and a half gallon pressure paint tank is what's called by Central Pneumatic. Uh, you can find these at your local hardware store, Harbor Freight, or um, sometimes Sears, I think, sells them as well. You probably have a Sears near you if you don't have a Harbor Freight. Um, what was this, like 80 bucks? 80 bucks, 79.99. Um, you can get Plus bigger, tax. you can get bigger ones. Um, they, this, they, I think they go two and a half, then they go five, maybe 10. And I know there's like giant ones too, if you need the most huge stuff. Uh, but this will probably suit all of your toy hobby needs, mostly. Um, so basically, it comes comes in uh, pieces, and you got to put it together. One of the main things you're going to want to do is get rid of this. We're not going to get rid of that on this video because it's really tightly in there. So uh, we'll do that later. But you're going to want to take that off. So take everything out. Um, comes with a handle. If you need it, um, that goes on the top for lifting the top off and on, but I usually don't use it. I just lift it up by this. All right, so your pressure gauge is one of the first things you're going to put on. Um, it's easy. It goes right on here. You're going to want to use that white, what's this stuff called? Thread seal tape, um, usually in like a plumbing section. Just to back up all of your seals. It's nice to put that on there. It's like a weird plasticky kind of tape stuff. Um, just put it around your seals a couple times. I don't know the real proper way to do this, but just wrap it on, put it on there, and then you can put your stuff on. It is freaking hot already in here. I wonder if there's a way to like aim this the right way. You know? Like I wonder if that's a thing. Or does it just go where it goes? Mm, maybe if you start it in a different place, it ends up know. somewhere different. Let's move know. this for now. Here, you hold that. Right. Um, okay. Alright, so a lot of the stuff you're going to need or you're going to want to have on there is you're going to want to have a valve that you can adjust the airflow. Um, let's get that. Let's get the hose and stuff. So because your hose that you're going to get, uh, we just got simple PVC air hose. Um, because the hose that you're going to get has a nozzle like this, one end goes into your tank, your air compressor and then one end is going to get plugged into your tank and you're going to want to have things on it like a quick release so that you can easily put it on and off you should put the tape on there too but you know that's going to go in there this is going to be on your tank and you can easily pop it on and off but you're going to want to be able to control the air that's going in so you're going to want to put in a what do they call these things shut off valve yeah an on off valve basically so you're going to want to put something between this that's going to go on your tank permanently and the air intake. Because these, tank, these tanks are actually made for paint, so there's all sorts of ins and outs. So all your air is going to go in, and then it's going to fly right out here. So you need to cap this. It's got another exit hole here that you're going to need to cap, because you only want to be able to go in one way and then trap, because you want to turn this into a pressure tank. So open this little puppy up. I'm going to open up that other stuff too. Pressure tank, you're going to need this, what we're making this pressure tank for is molding, casting, um, like smaller molds um, in silicone and um, casting up your resin copies after you're done molding. Um, this tank only, I think it goes, the max pressure is like 40 or 50 PSI, something like that, mm -hmm. uh, before it starts to explode. So I think it might even be around 60, but you don't need to even go that high. 
when you're molding with silicones, you could probably go to a nice 30, 30, 35 pounds. It doesn't really need to be much more than that. You're really only pressurizing the bubbles so that they're small. At that point, they're, they're fine. And same thing with casting. You go a little higher when you're casting in resins if you want, but I find I use it at about 35 on all my stuff, and it seems to work just fine. All right, so let's see. We're going to want to go in. We want to cap one end off and go in the other side. So let's see. Do you care what's, which one's which for you? No. Does it matter? Mm -mm. All right, so let's go in here. So this, this, we'll need a connector here to this to here. So as you can see, what we're doing is connecting the hose nozzle, the fast connect, to the switch to the in valve. And that way we can control the air coming into the piece and also leaving. That way you don't have to leave your hose connected the whole time. So again, use the tape. One thing I've actually seen, I think on the forum, maybe even, um, when somebody was using the plumber's tape, they put the thing together mm -hmm. and then they wrapped it in this. <laughs> so don't do that. Don't do that. What you need to do is wrap the actual threading of the piece you're about to put it on. Try not to cover the nozzle. That probably helps too. Don't cover the hole you're about to have there. But just wrap this little threading around. I don't know what the proper amount is. Make it, make it up, put it on till you feel comfortable. <laughs> if there's probably somebody watching who knows the real way to do it, feel free to comment in the comments below. Um, and again, if you, if you take this off at all, you need to re-tape it. It doesn't, it's not reusable. I don't like this one as much as this one. So now what we need to do, we've got the in and out. So if you've got your hose, um, just kidding. So now go ahead and try it. See how easy? So easy on, easy off for that. And when you put this, when you go to do it, you just Turn that, you can either open it or you can put it on and then let it in slowly if you need to fill the tank slowly, mm -hmm. or you just blast it in and shut it off. So easy for that. Now, what's going to happen though is everything's going to escape here and here. So we need to close those two as well. So we got caps for that. Um, let's see, we got this one for this. So again, we'll just do that. You want to do it? Yeah. You do it this time. Yeah. Now, if we did this right, we should have just finished the pressure tank. Um, this little puppy, what I've never that? quite understood. i got to read the instructions again, but this controls the, um, the valve of the air of where this actually goes to. So you can adjust this as you're filling it and testing it out. You can adjust this to where you want the pressure to go to, okay. and then you can lock it in at that spot. So however much you want in there. I'm not really sure how that part works. Um, again, you'd have to read it. I'm just doing this off the top and mine's already set. Um, this is the, and this stuff is all kind of like nicely laid out for you when you get it. Um, this is the safety valve. Um, so if the tank is ever going to get overpressurized, mm -hmm. this will blow before you even have to worry about it. Oh, okay. So you're, you're good on that. Um, you don't really need to do anything with this. It's already here and ready. So, let's see, I guess we'll do it. 
so we gotta get that out. That's good. That's probably fine. Let's try it, I guess. Let's see if we did it right. Okay. Once your casting is, or your mold is in. So there, yeah, there's, <laughs> this is the pressure, the tank we bought for this. You don't need a giant pressure tank or anything. Um, so this is the, you'll put this on like this, crank the lids tight, and then let the air in. It's easy as that. Uh, now we're gonna go test it out and we'll be back in a minute and tell you if it worked. Okay, so we're back from testing and it all worked first time, which is nice. Uh, here you can see it's full of air right now, so. Yeah. Booyah, nice. even the on off valve worked. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank High you. High five. <laughs> um, so if you have any questions about any of this stuff, you can come over to the October Toys forum, octobertoys.com slash forum and uh, check us out, ask us questions. There is a forum member on there, Improbable Cast, who is there to answer any questions you have about molding and casting. Uh, this whole setup was, what did you pay? Under $200, Under correct? 200, about one, 195. Peaking <laughs> very close. Oh yeah, 200. that includes the tank and the air compressor, uh, air compressor to the run hoses it. hoses and all the couplings. So now what this means is Mandy will be bringing you more cute toys. Yay. This was and from, they won't have uh, bubbles. <laughs> well, oh, they might. Yeah, they might. not as many. Uh, this is from uh, Designer Con last year? Or last two years year. Ago? Last yeah. year. So she'll be back Designer Con again this With year. With those retooled in different colors. And a little bit more finished. Yes, yeah. <laughs> New materials, pressure pots. It's a whole exciting I'm, thing I'm growing you. up. <laughs> so be sure to stop by Designer Con. Check out Mandy's work there. And also... Uh, Son of Monster Palooza. There you go. So that's in or Burbank. Mindful Nest if you're local. Even better. To Burbank. No website yet, but no website, website coming soon. We have a landing page, toyrantula.com. There's a spider. He's animated. It's pretty cute. <laughs> so maybe by Designer Con time or Mo Son of Monster. What's that called? Son, Son of, of Monster Monster Fest. No, Monster Fest is early October, oh, yeah. which we're doing again. But oh, okay. Yeah. Um, Son, son, of, son of Monster Palooza. Son of Monster I got Palooza. Totally derailed. <laughs> uh, maybe by then, check out toyranchula.com and yeah. you'll be able to buy some of her work. Uh, but definitely see her at DesignerCon. And thanks for watching. If you have any questions, let us know below or on the forum. Bye, everyone. Bye. Thanks for watching. Thank you, George. Sure.